Welcome to our channel. Today we're addressing a concern many parents face, toddler aggression, specifically biting, hitting and pushing. We'll explore the science behind these behaviors and provide practical, research-backed strategies to help you navigate this challenging phase. Aggressive behaviors in toddlers are common and often a normal part of development. According to a study published in the journal Child Development by Tremblay et al. 2004, physical aggression peaks around the age of two and gradually declines as children develop language and self-control. At this stage, toddlers are learning to express themselves but may lack the verbal skills to communicate effectively. This can lead to frustration and consequently aggressive actions like biting, hitting or pushing. Identifying what triggers aggression is crucial. Dr. Carolyn Zahn-Waxler, a developmental psychologist, notes that aggression can stem from factors such as frustration, overstimulation, or a desire for autonomy. Key triggers include frustration due to limited communication skills, Dunn and Brown, 1994, overwhelming emotions they can't regulate, Cole et al., 2010, Environmental factors like crowded spaces or loud noises, Evans et al., 1998. Understanding brain development helps explain why toddlers act aggressively. The prefrontal cortex, responsible for impulse control and reasoning, is still developing. Thompson and Nelson, 2001. Dr. Daniel Siegel, in his book The Whole Brain Child, emphasizes that toddlers operate primarily from the emotional brain, not the logical brain. This means they react impulsively because they haven't yet developed the ability to regulate their emotions fully. Now let's delve into practical, research-backed strategies to manage and reduce aggression. First, stay calm and composed. According to a study in Development and Psychopathology by Shaw and colleagues in 1994, parental reactions significantly influence a child's behavior. Responding calmly models the self-control you want your child to learn. Next, use simple language. Dr. Harvey Karp suggests using toddler ease, short phrases and repetition to communicate effectively. For example, no hit, hitting hurts. This approach aligns with toddlers' cognitive abilities as noted by Karp in 2004, acknowledge feelings. Research by Denham and others in 2000 indicates that acknowledging a child's emotions can reduce aggressive behavior. Say things like, I see you're angry because you can't have the toy. This helps them feel understood, set clear and consistent boundaries. Consistency is key. A study in the Journal of Clinical Child Psychology by McNeil and Hembry Keegan in 2010 found that consistent rules and consequences help reduce aggression. Ensure all caregivers are on the same page. Teach alternative behaviors. Guide your child toward acceptable ways to express themselves. According to research by Barton and Asion in 1979, teaching sign language or emotion words can reduce frustration-related aggression. Lastly, use positive reinforcement. Use praise to reinforce good behavior. Skinner's operant conditioning theory supports that positive reinforcement increases desired behaviors, as Skinner pointed out back in 1953. Let's address strategies for specific aggressive actions. The American Academy of Pediatrics suggests addressing biting immediately and calmly. Say, no biting, biting hurts, offer a teething toy if they are teething, intervene by gently holding their hands and stating no hitting, use gentle hands. Modeling gentle touch can be effective. Help them practice asking for space, teach phrases like, please move or my turn, please. While occasional aggression is normal, persistent aggressive behavior may require professional guidance. The Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders notes that if aggression is severe and ongoing, it might be indicative of underlying issues. Consult a pediatrician or child psychologist if aggression is frequent and intense, your child injures others regularly, or there's concern about developmental delays. Managing a toddler's aggression can be stressful. Research highlights that parental stress can exacerbate child behavior problems. Ensure you're also taking care of your well-being. Understanding that toddler aggression is often a phase can help you approach the situation with patience and empathy. By utilizing these research-backed strategies, you can guide your child towards healthier ways of expressing themselves. Remember, 
Consistency and compassion are key. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more science-based parenting insights.